All right, so I'm gonna show two ways to go outside on the wooden dummy. Um, one would being, you know, we come doing this movement to the outside. You're not gonna see my feet because out of frame. Um, and the one is gonna be always checking when I'm stepping to the outside because I found over my years of doing Wing Chun, Chi Sao would have you when stepping off. A lot of times people like to throw the elbow as you're stepping. So checking the shoulder is a good way to prevent that and keeping this hand here, whether it's a Q sal or even just a quick like pocking kind of hand, a forward kind of pop to um, intercept that hand and then clear it once you intercept it. Um, of course, you can't really see it because it's a dynamic technique movement, but I'm gonna I'll do my best to show you. Um, so first we'll go to the left. So traditionally, at least for the IWC here in Seattle, when we wanna go to the outside, for this technique only, not all the techniques, but this technique for one outside, one of them is uh, we like to pock. As we pock, we step and we take the hand here to protect. And then we can come strike the ribs, you know, lock, come inside, what have you, even work back in. Um, I'll show you this side. So again, that's step here. So you're getting clearing his hand here, then we're bringing his hand up to protect. And then we take the angle back. All right, um, that's all good if I want to just, you know, if I'm really working off of like a jab or even a cross, I want to go outside. Um, but what I found as far as the elbow coming is sometimes when you do this, if you check, especially if you're up here on the wrist and wing chain, then we'll just give you the elbow. So what I found is coming here, and even though they're going to throw the elbow, you can check into the shoulder, and as they come, it stops that forward momentum of the movement. So that's one way, another way to negate that elbow and it protects you from getting hit with that elbow. Um, of course, you know, you can come through and check it with two hands, but now both of your hands are here and this is all open. Um, so there's just another way, like I said, to go outside when I'm checking actually for the elbow that may come. So here, even though I may come with this here, I'm going to stop the shoulder as I step, as I take this. So even this elbow's here by me stopping this, it's going to stop that forward momentum, so I should be able to clear around and continue on with my movement. All right, so again, I'm still going to pop that hand, but now I'm going to do this as I step out. All right, so um, my hands are however they are, box, whatever. But as I step, I step this way to hit that shoulder. So even if this elbow's here, and I keep this hand here even off the pot, just in case um, the elbow does make it through, I got this extra backup, right? So I'm checking the shoulder to negate, um, to negate a lot of the power. Um, you know, nothing's foolproof, nothing's 100%. This is just one of my perspectives on it that uh, I found has worked for me. Um, so again, two ways. This is just two of many techniques to go outside, inside. Inside, outside, doesn't matter. But for now, I'm just showing outside. All right? So again, you have one which is step and bring the arm up to protect. As you take the angle to attack the ribs with the elbow or a punch, now this is going to turn to a time so I can keep it here. I strike. I can come back inside. I can be here. I can swim. I'm inside. Um, now I go this way again. Pock. So I pock as I step. And this shoots up. All right, now I take the ankle. Okay. The other one is, they throw a jab or whatever. I don't want to stay in front of them, especially if they're a boxer, because that's what boxers do, combinations and all that. And there's, I'm not speaking poor land boxers at all. Um, outstanding fighters. Um, I'm just showing a perspective of how you can deal with some things that a boxer may throw at you, you know, like a jab or a cross. Um, so the second one is, this cross, this jab or cross, whatever you want to call it, comes. And now, my goal is to hit the shoulder. You hit the face too, but to stop that forward momentum with a possible elbow or even a hook, I'm gonna check the shoulder. So, the hand comes like pock. I do, this would be a shoulder check right here. Okay, keeping my Wu Sao up, or even I want to say connected to help protect from a, a possible elbow or even that hook that may come off of you deflecting the jab. This right here will take a lot of power off of a jab or an elbow. All right, one more time this side. No, no, Lock. no. Here. 
Okay. No. That's it.